Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. First at four on this Tuesday starts in Houston, where several children have been taken to a hospital after an explosion at a daycare. Six children between the ages of two and four were conducting a science experiment outside when something happened to set off an explosion or some type of reaction. Firefighters say the children were burned as a result and have since been taken to a hospital where we are told they are in good condition. The local fire chief says several other children were released to their parents who were taking them to their own doctors for possible care. A teacher was also injured in that incident, suffering scrapes and bruises, trying to protect those students. The utility Pacific Gas and Electric has been added to a massive lawsuit stemming from that deadly warehouse fire in Oakland, California last year. The lawsuit claims the utility knew or should have known of the electrical dangers in the so-called ghost ship where three dozen people died in a fire in December. According to the complaint, PG&E was negligent for failing to monitor the power distributed to the building where several people lived. Although investigators have not officially announced the cause of the fire, Sources have said it is blamed on an overloaded electrical system. Charges have been filed in connection with the unsolved murders of a family in rural Ohio last year. The brother of Dana Roden, one of the eight people killed near Piketon last April, has been charged with tampering with evidence and vandalism. Investigators say James Manley destroyed a GPS device being used in the investigation of that massacre. Investigators have also seized a trailer linked to the family of one of the victim's ex-boyfriends. So far, no one has been charged with the murders of the seven adults and a teenage boy, all of whom were found shot to death execution style. The White House is doing damage control following a report that President Trump has shared top secret information with Russian diplomats. NBC's Jennifer Johnson has more on the fallout and what leaders of the Trump administration and the president himself are saying about it today. 